we got the okay, but let's see what this matchup is. Alright, Donkey Kong versus Wolf. This is a... Uh, could possibly be a rough one for Donkey Kong, but his range and gimp, gimp potential is very good against this character. So let's see what 5-6 can do to combat by those tools. Alright, Vizel right now getting avoiding the shield grabs. But 5-6 gets one. Only gets up to 42 off of that though. Grounded spinning Kong getting knocked out of Alright, not able to convert off of that grab. Right now, 5 6. He's trying to space out with aerials uh, in this mid percent game. He can't really get anything anymore, so now he just kind of wants to get Wolf off stage and hit him where it hurts. Runs up jabs, interesting decision, but it works out for him. Okay, grounded up B, using that armor to make it something somewhat safer. Didn't get anything from Wolf being off stage though, and now Wolf is back in advantage. Wolf now trying to space for back air, trying to get a kill of his own. But the throw might take it. Yeah, and there we go. 5 6 in the lead now. Down smash being charged. He goes high, gets hit by it. Alright, let's see if we can get off of a grab this time. It seems like he's not able to really get more than that one up air. He's, uh, he's burning his double jump for that and then just has to land, so. Not getting as much damage as he would probably like against Wolf. Fair chains coming through. Does not get the F smash despite having the air dodge read. Spacing is not quite there. Alright, Donkey Kong's got the edge guard right now. What can he do? Goes too low, can't cover. Now he's been using a lot of these up Bs and uh Bizel seems to be starting to catch on to it, so. Oh, and he doesn't get spiked there, so that's good for him. But it seems like it might be more difficult for 5-6 to get these openings in neutral with the way Visel's starting to catch on, so. He's gonna have to be smart about what options he picks. As I say that, he gets the grab, goes for the, the cheeky tech. Uh, Faisal not ready for it. And now things are looking strong for 5-6. He just needs to get this edge guard and it's done. And there we go. Faisal goes too low and gets pineappled. PS2 ledges are uh, something fun for Wolf sometimes. Alright. Vizel looking off into the dis distance, thinking about his counter pick, FD. Makes perfect sense. High ceiling, higher, uh, no platforms to grab from. Lasers, making it difficult. Okay, Pichu. Even stronger counter pick on this stage. Let's see what if he's able to juggle him efficiently, get the edge guards, kill him early. Let's see what he can do. Just now noticing the improvement tag on Vizel's. Alright, misses the loop, but Donkey Kong's still getting juggled, and he's already at 75%, and that's the power of Pichu, even after the nerfs, he's still such a good combo character, uh, does not follow the DI on the up throw. But right now, he's just controlling neutral so hard, and Pichu on FD is not an easy task to, to deal with. But that being said, uh, with the self damage and the few hits that 5-6 has gotten with his heavy, he's pretty much even his back up. He's in disadvantage now, but now it's not going to be hard for him to take the first dot. Uh, misses the tech, but doesn't get jab locked. Right now, they've had a good few opportunities, but they're just not ready to strike. Faisal, back to uh, T-Jolting. Trying to stay safe and hold on to the stock as long as possible. Because he knows if he gets the next one, he can get a big combo into something. Alright, bounces off the side, but doesn't get the, the hit that he wanted. And even with no attack, he lives. 
Now Visal in the lead. Now if Visal can get a grab, he can convert into big damage and get something strong going now. Ryan, the Uppy catching him from behind can't do anything about it. It's kind of funny how often you see uh, Pichu and Wolf as a character combo. But uh, both these characters are very strong and very good at controlling neutral. And right now he's showing it with the Pichu. Oh, and he gets caught by the reverse hit of Uppy the wrong way. He still has a strong strong percent lead though, so if he can just catch a good confirm here, which he hasn't quite been able to do with Pichu yet, maybe a read will help him in this situation, but if he can get something, he's going to be in a good position for getting on to game 3. Alright, and 5-6 has gone for a lot of these LBs at this point, and I think uh, despite getting cop clipped by it those few times, the Visal's caught onto it at least from the front side, and it's not working out as well for 5-6. I feel like if he keeps doing it, he's going to get punished for it harder. Alright, might as well content to sit back, uh, but trying to find his way in now actually. Keeping it, keeping it, oh, the down smash catches his roll. Well, this has become a lot worse for Visal. Uh, he needs to take this stock now, and at 189, it shouldn't be amazingly hard. But Donkey Kong does like to survive longer than you would expect. You gonna try and go for an edge guard, or just try to ledge trap here? Get some ledge for free. Wonder if does Peach have a kill throw at this percent? Almost. That being said, he can't take any more hits. F tilt. Nerfed but not gone. Alright. One good FD combo though. And Visal's back in this. He seems to be going for these up air chains, not feeling confident in the loops. He started with able to get them, so I think he's just going for simpler combos and accepting the lesser amount of potential damage. But right now he's even to back up. Now, the problem comes if if Faisal wins this, he's going to have a much weaker stage for game three, and with as close as it is right now, I'm not sure if he's going to be able to do it, but let's see if maybe he can make some, if he can continue adapting do some stronger Pichu stuff and take it out even on a worse stage. Alright, back to PS2. He did go Wolf at first. Wouldn't be surprised to see him keep going Pichu. This is still a very long stage, uh, a lot of a lot of stage two control for Pichu. Uh, so honestly, probably just a comfort counter pick for five six, if anything. All right, taking two T jolts to the face, sixteen percent off of that. Pichu damage is crazy sometimes. That being said, now his self damage is a lot worse for himself to deal with. So while still a very, very good character, it can be a lot more stressful to play Pichu now. Now, I don't think I've seen him go for one down air on Donkey Kong, which is kind of surprising, because it's relatively low risk and just so effective at deleting Donkey Kong's stock. So, I feel like if he started edgarding this a bit more, it would be a lot easier for him to take out these DK stocks faster. Oh, and he gets... he's not teched that once. So, it's not something you always see from Donkey Kong, but it's you do have to keep it in mind, especially after seeing it happen already in the set. You have to be ready to tech it. And even if you even if you do the shield input to tech it, and they don't do that throw, you won't air dodge, so... You should go for it when you're near the ledge. Alright, Pichu combo... 
Goes to the forward air instead of the back air. Donkey Kong falls out. Now, Liza seems to be going for about two T jolts and then approaching, uh, at, which is then giving 5 6 the same pattern to go off of. So it's easier for him to tell when Peach is going to approach. But right now, he's not dealing with the Thunder Jolts as best as he could. Uh, part of the problems of being a big body and not having the best movement is that those T jolts do do stop you very effectively and then the damage tacks up so so much and the up he's gonna take it Pichu is a small boy and Donkey Kong trying to space out with tilt it doesn't get the jab lock again uh, I think he w hit the jab but Donkey Kong was bouncing above it at that point T jolts he is not trying to get grabbed at this at this instance. And the dash attack coming in. Donkey Kong's dash attack not having a lot of lag in this game is such a such a good approach option when you mix it up and uh same way he lost game one. Getting pineappled by the left ledge of PS2. That is a bit sad to see, honestly.